undertaker, an ambassador between this world and the next. She also got her boyfriend to drop the assault charges, which meant IAB cleared Zane, so he was off desk duty, back on the beat, where he's likely to bump into Damon, his childhood friend. Damon, he's a fixer. He gets things done. He knows everybody. He's very persuasive. He plays both sides of the line. Zane and Vanessa went to see his father, hoping that his dad's side of the story would sway her to take the case. It did. Zane and I went to visit Craig Newell in the hospital where he's still recovering from his beatdown, and he told us that he was the one who put the choke on Jamal Jones, the choke that might have killed him. But his partner, Brad Ulrich, he keeps charging at me with the drills, and I had to shoot him. Has put himself in a brand new jackpot, killing a homeless Dominican. So, while everything's cool at home, where Zane's still living, by the way, at work, everything's definitely not cool. Brad Ulrich is some cop, huh? Pummels Chris Livingston because he's black, then today he shoots a Dominican in cold blood. We don't know, it's cold blood, Mike. We weren't there. Stand back, this may ricochet. Zane. What? If it's supposed to taste good, why don't you just taste it? Why don't you go microwave a potato, you recovering Irish Catholic? We could frame that and sell it in Soho. Child's on. Where's Elizabeth? Be home any minute. Oh. Cheers. Cheers. Mmm. Your bachelor party. Yeah? I decided on a strip club. Strip club? Oh, two or three. We'll make it a crawl. I thought we were going over the top, a Hummer Safari in Colorado or something. Strip club could turn into a Hummer Safari if we're lucky. No. Look, Mike, all these Iron Man extravaganzas that I was telling you about, they're for guys that have money to burn. Ray and Joey, guys like that, they can't, they can't afford that. Ray and Joey? Okay, me, I'm gonna have to bounce a check just to get a lap dance. Why? It's not like you're paying rent. No, it's reopening my dad's case, you know, the legal fees. It's three grand already. What? Didn't you hire this lawyer, like, yesterday? No, it's just retainer crap. Vanessa Sharp signs on. I get a bill for the work she hasn't even done yet. Where are you gonna come up with $3,000? Fake sale. Hi, honey. Hi, honey. You really have to talk to her about slamming those doors. Slamming doors disturbs the feng shui. Feng what? Feng Shui, the energy flow through your home. It's an ancient Chinese science. You're watching too much cable, Zane. No, I got a book on it last week. It's all about how to set up your crib to keep the channels clear. No. Suit yourself, but from now on, I'm sleeping with my head facing north, and we'll see who wakes up in a better mood. Hey. Hey, how's the hospital? Fine, psychotic. Hey, I heard about the guy with the drill who got shot by the off-duty cop. Jesus Torres, he was nuts. And dinner is ready. An unplugged drill. Brad Ulrich, who we all know is not not shot him. Self-defense, of course. Hey, isn't Brad Ulrich the one who... Hey, who got the $40 boxing fight on pay-per-view? Mangiamo, ah, prego, regazza. It's Italian, too. Ah. So here's French. Pepe Le Pew. <laughs> nice. Let the machine pick it up. Don't people know that it's rude to call during dinner time? This is America, bro. There is no dinner time. Zane, please pick up. I know you're there. I started class today at mortician school, and I got to take part in my first embalming. It was such a beautiful thing. So peaceful and artistic and respectful, but the weirdest thing was the dead guy looked like an older version of you. And I, I thought, gee, I hope someday I can do this for Zane. Let's see. without me. Hopefully, right? As long as she's done messing with you. I don't know. It's just that ugly feeling when you don't want someone you're with to be doing better without you, you know? Zane, you want Beatrice to be doing better without you. Look at me. You don't need her to need you. I know. I need her to need me. 
Accusations of police brutality against the 12th precinct are being leveled again, only weeks after the death of Jamal Jones, whose mother claims her son was A mentally stunned. unstable Dominican man, Jesus Torres, whose Good death has rallied fierce support in other Get Hispanic off the car! Get him back! Get off the African car! No pueden permitir que la injusticia para Canal 42 God, they early. Can't they wait till we get out on patrol? Don't try and tell me this will blow over. This won't blow over. Gentlemen. Ladies. Morning, Roy. It's not talking to me neither. It's like we're to blame for the Dominican guy. Oh, come on, Ray. Don't do this. Don't tell you about it, Ali. I don't hear you. Wait, come on. I am done with this white trash excuse for a police department. Viva Puerto Rico. I got you. <laughs> you bastard! You colorful little gringos! <laughs> You should have seen your face, Dorgan, like the freaking <laughs> abominable snowman. Abominable, Joey. Huh? Abominable? Not abdominal. Yeah, whatever. What? But Ray had you on the hook. Just breaking the ice, amigos. It's been Arctic in here lately. I heard Ori got 30 days of no pay while IAB investigates. I take his badge away already. Toss his honky ass out. Honky? You see, that's the real problem. You white folks got all the good bad words, like spick. Wet back. The only thing we got to throw back at you is honky. It just ain't fair. All of you know about the bomb planted by Puerto Rican nationalists outside police headquarters, New Year's Eve, 1982. One officer lost part of a leg. A detective trying to defuse a second bomb lost three fingers and his partner was partially blinded. We're starting to get threats. Do not take this lightly. I need your eyes everywhere. Sergeant Negrilla? If I get even one more civilian complaint in the next few days that fuels that fire outside, you will see another side of me, and you will not like it. Next item. We're still searching for the person who beat Officer Newell. You know, it would help if we had a sketch of the guy who hit Newell. We have a description. Yeah, dreadlocks and Tommy Hilfiger. Like, the perp is going to wake up and say to himself, gee, maybe I should keep wearing the same clothes I wore when I clubbed the cop. Zane, I'm going to go to the captain and tell him that Newell confessed to putting a choke on Jamal Jones. I'm not asking you to come with me. Gee, thanks, Mike. You go to the captain, they reopen this investigation, you can have every cop in the city looking cross-eyed at you. And me. You toss your career away if you want. I like my job. What the hell was that? Ah, oh, son of a bitch! You okay? Yeah, just a little dazed. All right, well, we'll be, we'll be right back. Stay there! What, is this guy kidding? We're in a car. Hold next to him. I'm trying. Get up there. Get up to him. I got it. I got it. Here we go. Hey, pull over. <laughs> pull over. I said pull over. Damn it. I got it. I'm gonna get him on your side. There we go. Turn him up. I'm gonna grab him and swallow him down. You think that's a good idea? Closer, closer. I got it. Hold on, hold on. Come here. Don't even think about it, Andre. Stay still. Hey. Don't even think about it. Mike, come on. Come on. Relax, you're not going anywhere. Come on. You out of your mind? Get the car. Get in the car. Get out. Hey. Did you hear anything Sarge said this morning? Why don't you get the bike and put it in the back, huh? Off the trunk. Where'd you think you were going, huh? 
What'd you think? We weren't gonna get you? Let's go check on the guy he hit. Where is he? He must have split. Probably calling his lawyer. Let's see some ID. No gun on on me. Well, that's an infraction along with assault, leaving the scene of an accident, running a red light. So kill me cops down and get it over with. What'd you say? Hey, it was nasty what you did to that guy. I'm going behind your back, McGann. Just listen to me for a second. That phrase, dysfunctional family, it's redundant. What's going on? My grandmother went and told my sister, McGann, that I'm reopening the case. And she called Big Brother to ask him not to? Ask? No. Yell. Fellas! Oh, hey, Ray, I forgot to tell you. We're going to do a uh, strip club or two for Mike's big night. Hey, well, make it two and pick me up when you're done with chipping downs. What are you looking at? Nada, my friend. What'd you say to her? Who? Your sister. Oh, what I always said. Dad deserves a fair trial. But if I don't come up with that retainer fee, he's gonna die inside that cell. So, get a part-time gig. When? I'm helping Vanessa with the case. I don't have another hour left for another job. Will you knock it off? Then get a loan. My credit? Are you kidding me? I'm on Visa's hit list. You should talk to my brother. You know, Steve went to a sperm bank once. Get out of here. No, there's money in it. The big money, I think. It's not my style, Mike. Getting paid to wax a dolphin in a science lab. All right, what's your style then? Waxing it for free in your bathroom. That's great. I'll carry that image with me always. Hey, Timmy, have you seen the captain around? I gotta talk to him. Somewhere. Hey, everyone. Say hello to Rodney. Rodney's the one to bash Craig Newell with a baseball bat. Get in there, you son of a bitch. Ah! Oh, my God! Bastard! Yes. Captain, you got a minute? Yeah, come in. It's regarding Officer Newell. Oh, I saw him last night. He should be back with us any day. I, I, I hate to be the one with this kind of information, sir. Go on. At the hospital, when Zane and I were visiting, Craig admitted using a chokehold on Jamal Jones. Newell said this. Yes, sir. But Newell was cleared by IAB. I know. But he said he choked out Jones. I see. And you said that uh, Officer Marinelli was in the room with you during this confession? Yes, sir. But he didn't feel compelled to be with you now? No. Why is that, do you think? Because he's scared. He's scared of me, he's scared of Newell. He's scared of being an outcast with his fellow officers. But you, you're not afraid. See, fearlessness is important in a leader. You're gonna make a good leader someday. Thank you, sir. Dismissed. Sir, what happens from here? With Noel. You've done your job, Dorgan. Now I'll do mine.
see. You have a pretty good butt. Oh, wow, well, thank you. I've been known to bust a move every now and again. Wait till I get this crowd breakdancing. We'll all be doing a group worm next. And how is the love life of my dapper little for great grandchildren? Same as it was last time you asked. Wonderful to have a life not warped by love at the moment. Hi, Franny. You look gorgeous. Hello, Esther. Do it. This is my grandson, Zane. Nice to meet you, Zane. Remarried at 80. A life not worked by love. Do they, uh, you know, still, uh, get it on? They. And yes, they do. Oh, man, oh, man. Keep it up, love. Love. One, two, three, one, two, three. Love. I talked to your sister. Yes, I know. I heard loud and clear. You shouldn't have done that, Nana. No, no. Well, she has a right to know what you're up to. And I know you'd never tell her yourself. Come on, Nana, we're dancing. Yes, I will. And you have been waltzing around this subject for weeks now. This appeal is going to cost you a tremendous amount of money which you don't have. I'm not asking you to write a check, Nana. Well, you did the first time. And I gave you the funds hoping that you would realize the truth for yourself. It was hate money, Graham, I admit it. Hate money? What? Why? What do you mean? You hate my father. You've hated him from the beginning. With you saying it's always something other than the facts. Well, this time it's going to be me, my dad, and a lawyer I can trust. And you and McGann, you could look the other way. Look the other way? Say, your father is guilty. Ah, oh, all right. Announce it to everyone. Huh? Go ahead, announce it to the world. Go ahead. Vince Marinelli's a murderer. How's that? Ladies and gentlemen, a, a little levity. I've been dieting all of my life. I'm trying to get back to my original weight. Seven pounds, four ounces. One, two, three, one, two, three. One, two, three, one, two, three. Keep it up, love. God, we should just have Empire Szechuan cater the wedding. This mood she would be bad. Mm -hmm. A big scallion wedding pancake. Oh, honey, careful, okay? We gotta return some of these papers to the wedding coordinator. With your mom and your stepmom driving this bus, what's there left for a wedding coordinator to do? Well, um, all right. Here's their list for us. Mm -hmm. First, we have photographers. I was thinking we should have black and white instead of color. Okay. Okay, because we could have some color, some black and white. Yeah. Sure. So you're, you're fine either way? Yep. All right, next. OK, the flowers. Now, I know you said your mother's friend or something was a florist, but my dad beat us to it. He's got a client's daughter who kind of specializes in weddings, and so he kind of asked her to do it already. Fine. But what about your friend? I mean, I could still call my dad and just say that we... Don't worry. I never said anything definite anyway. OK, as long as it's, as long as it's OK with you. That's Because, you know, then my dad gets to be involved. That's kind of good, you know? Yeah. OK, okay next. Uh... Decor. Surprise me. Surprise you? Mike, this is our wedding. It's not a birthday party. I meant I trust you with the whole decor thing. Really? And does that go for the uh, big band orchestra? Big band? Jazz? Well, you know, my mom, she wanted to hire the chamber orchestra that played at her wedding. I compromised with jazz. Huh. OK. Let's have jazz. You sure? I am if you are. I mean, it... Do you know of a good big band? No, Mike, I don't know of any good big bands because there's not going to be a big band. What? Stop saying yes to everything. You want me to say no to everything? No, I want you to tell me what you want. I thought we were discussing the wedding. Yeah, I'm trying to discuss the wedding, but you're on autopilot, which means you need leverage for something. For what? You tell me. Uh, I was talking to Zane about the bachelor party. <laughs> yeah, with Zane planning that, it's, uh, I'm sure it's going to be something not to be proud of. He hasn't made any final, final decision yet. Oh, I see. Final, final. But I'm sure he has a lot of choice choices, right? Like, um, which escort service provides twins who don't speak English? No, no, it's not an escort service, Elizabeth. He wants to have the party at a strip club, and... Oh. Strip club? Eh. Oh? Why? 
You thought I'd be angry about that? Who cares? It's like a strip club. It's <laughs> lame. Whatever. What is this? Uh, look, if you want today. Court cases galore. Yeah, speaking of, what's the skinny on that guy who took our new? He confessed and pleaded out. He served five years, the bastard. All right, listen up. The 17th is short some bodies. I need two volunteers right away for a last minute fixer up at the Swedish consulate. Those short bodies? Marinelli and I got it. Okay, Dargan and Marinelli to the Swedish consulate. Stick us on a fixer so you can study for your sergeant's exam. Yeah, here, test me. No way. Fine. You know, what goes around comes around. You ever heard of the Yang Yang, Mr. Feng Tui? You're gonna need my help when you're trying to balance a wedding and a career. The beat's good enough for me no matter who I marry. What's that supposed to mean? You're taking that sergeant's exam for Elizabeth, or is it for her family? You want to impress them. So you got to rub it in my face? You know they're upper crust. I think they had other plans for a son-in-law. No, you think they're going to be satisfied when you make sergeant? No. Lieutenant? Maybe. You're a basketball and bourbon cop, Mike. They're strictly Broadway musicals and a summer home in the Hamptons. Elizabeth obviously likes you because you're different. Screw what her family thinks. Screw that. go any slower. I mean, who, who's the, who wants to attack this place anyway? I mean, Sweden's neutral. That's Switzerland, not Sweden. Sweden, Switzerland, whatever. It's, it's all chocolate and watches anyway. Well, that's Switzerland. Sweden's health spas and uh, sex changes. Oh, yeah, and since when did you become an expert on the world? Honeymoon research. Well, I'm going to write some tickets, damn it. Diplomatic plates, my ass. I mean, can you believe that our country lets them get away with this crap? You show me in our constitution where it says Euro trash can park their cars wherever, whenever they want. Good afternoon, officer. Ah, good afternoon. Hello, how are you? Am I, uh, trouble? Oh, your car is parked illegally, so I had to write you a ticket. I'm sorry. Tickets? I write it, you ignore it, everybody's happy, huh? Yes, uh, happy. You seem like happy man. I, uh, I don't know many people in this city. You um, have pen? Pen, yeah, sure. There you are. Call me. Yeah. If you like. Sure. Ciao, Bella. <sighs> what? That's the number for information. She got me. She got me. All right, she got me. comes around the corner and Al Gore mask is doing the 50-yard dash. He's got his duffel bag stuffed. But I can't leave my post because we can't separate. I can't go deal with the crime in progress because angry Canadian terrorists will attack the Swedes. All I'm saying no, is... No, Mike, don't throw the rules in my face. I know you're supposed to do what you're supposed to do, but sometimes you got to do what's right. Our pickup's here.
So when do we get to examine the physical evidence? Soon. Mr. Ayers and I have been missing each other's calls. Hey, Vanessa. Yeah. Um, about the retainer, you know, I'm having a little little difficulty uh, raising the money. Wayne, I do not get involved with billing. Our firm has a separate department for that. So there's no one that you can talk to just to maybe get me a little bit of an extension? I'm a junior partner. They'd laugh in my face. But I can tell you this. They'll terminate this case in a second if they smell an empty wallet. Believe it or not, lawyers get screwed too. Beatrice. Wayne, what a surprise. How are you? Hi, Beatrice Felsen. Vanessa Sharp. You got my message, I take it. Oh yeah, that's great. That thing that you're doing in school sounds great. I just started this fascinating program in funeral science. Zane really helped steer me there without knowing it. What do you do? I'm a defense attorney. Really? This isn't about the fight with Rick. No, this is this is some other business, uh, which we're actually right in the middle of right now, Beatrice. So. Are you opening your father's case again? Anyway, you guys would not believe what happened in class yesterday. I was standing over this cadaver and the thing shot up, like waking from a nightmare. I guess there's this post-mortem phenomenon that causes the muscles and joints to stiffen just enough and the body sits up for a moment, involuntarily, of course. Do you think something's over, that it's gone, dead and done, and then it's not as dead as you thought? Nice meeting you. You too. Former girlfriend? Oh, yeah. What's the matter? There should be an envelope containing the vaginal swab that is missing. I have to call Mr. Ayers, see if he knows why. Oh, do you think someone is tampering with evidence? No, they. <laughs> This sort of thing happened. It's been five years since your last appeal. Things get moved around sometimes. Well, I've never seen any of this stuff before. Your last lawyer must have examined the evidence, must have done a DNA test. You want to do another DNA test, even though the last one pointed only to my dad? Yes. I'm going to redo everything. That way we have a case, rather than a cause. This earring your mother was wearing that was torn from her earlobe. Her nightgown. Zane. I can go through this evidence by myself. What are those? What are those? Nothing. Let me see them. No. Let me see them. Please. Hey, either of your wives have a bachelorette party? Patty did it. Tell them the truth, Joey. She did. But it's something I don't like to talk about. Isabel? From what I heard, a bunch of nice girls being bad in a room at the shelter. From what you heard? Who told you? I roped it out of a sister a year later. Yeah, it's one of those things that me and Patty had to work through with our therapist. You know, this wild side that I never knew about. What did she do? Well, I'm not sure, but there was a bowling ball involved. What's the matter, Mike? You worried about Elizabeth watching a naked dude open a beer bottle between us? Jesus Christ. I'm not worried about Elizabeth. She's as straight as they come. Our well, marriage counselor says that those are the people that have the hardest time expressing, you know, their, their true desires. I gotta piss. And when I get back, 
We're talking about something else. Do the bowling ball? What do you want me to say? Hello, Hazel. Miss Sharp. Mr. Ayers is expecting me. Yes, ma'am. He told me to tell you that he's sorry he had to go out suddenly. Oh. Would you like to leave a message? Did he say what time he'll be back? No, ma'am. Huh. Okay. I'll, um, just call him later. Very good. Have a nice day. Thank you. You too. She's gone, sir. Thank you. Hey, is that Damon? I need to talk to him. A man of many talents. I didn't know gardening was one of them. It ain't. But lending a helping hand is. Harbor. Is that that homeless guy with the white afro he used to sweep up over here? Yeah. He uh, kicked it a couple weeks ago. Parks and Rec just gave me the green light to put a plaque down for him. Nice. So you wanted to see me about something? Benjamins, my friend. To pay the green vultures of litigation? Wait a minute. Come here. Now, how the hell do you know about that? Frequency, Zane. I hear things others don't. How much you need? Around 3,000. Around 3,000 or 3,000? 3, yeah, 3,000. 3,000 it will be. How's your old man doing? Uh, well, it's hard for him to get his spirits up at this point. You know what? I think maybe it's better if I get the money someplace else. Like where? All right, but I'm going to pay you back just as soon as I can. sweat No, I am going to sweat it, because you got people coming up to you. This is no loans, Ann. It's a gift. Please, Damon. I'm already crossing the line here as it is. And what line would that be? Your badge is your day wear, Zane. Don't insult me. I'm not insulting you. I'm just telling you I'm going to pay you back. No, you're not. I give you this money, you never bring it up again. Deal? How'd that go? Good, bad, who knows? All units, respond to a 1033. Suspected explosive device at the 12th Precinct Station House, Broom Street. The station house? Central, this is 12 Zebra responding. Joey, what's up? Protesters say two guys wearing hoods dropped that package off and killed away. Then the call comes from a payphone. Christ. Information on a suspicious device. We're sending the bomb squad in. from Jesus Torres. 
Torres or the guy Aldrich said? Aldrich. It's under investigation. What the? Bed sheets? Flag. What flag? Dominican Republic. Happy to see me, huh? Oh, God. We were on standby for the bomb scare, and I kept seeing all these images of you. And I, I brought you something. Salami sandwich. Oh, my ass! Oh, my ass! Dr. Babookian! That ambulance driver stopped for a pizza on the way over here. <laughs> I never had any luck. I got a ticket for speeding in a car wash. <laughs> Hey, hey, remember the other night I was uh, talking to you about the bachelor party? Uh huh. I was wondering, are you doing something like that? A bachelorette party or whatever? Uh huh. You are? Yeah, as far as I know. I mean, Jessica's planning it. So. What's she planning? I have no idea. She wants to surprise me. What if she wants to surprise you with something you don't want to be surprised with? Like what? I don't know. Some guy jumping out of a cake with, you know, shaps and. His ass hanging out or something? <laughs> okay, wait a minute. Who's the one going to a strip club? You said you didn't care. I didn't. I don't. But you can't go getting all bent out of shape if I want to do something equally stupid and meaningless. Not if I know ahead of time. It's like, I gotta know in order not to care. You don't care that I'm going to a strip club because you know I am. But if you didn't know, you'd probably care, like you did before I told you. I want to not care either, so I can relax and not care what's going on. Did you just smoke pot? Elizabeth, I'm being honest. Look, Mike, the reason I don't care that you're going to a strip club is because I trust you. Do you trust me? Of course, but... I trust you, you trust me, okay? That's it. Give me a win for life in a Joker's Wild. Hello? Me to break the banks. You got a plastic spoon at that? speak Spanish. Who knows what she's saying about us? Yo hablo español un poquito. Oh, I forgot. You speak all the romance languages. <clears throat> hey. Hey, Mo, you forgot your cheesesteak. No weapons, no drugs. You know, I was thinking, Mike, it's like we each got our own little feng shui thing going on. Like, I'm the home that I live in. A mobile home. Exactly. 
And if I put my stolen Honda first on the big list of things in life, mm -hmm. then I'm gonna affect the energy flow of everything else in a negative way. I'll buy that. You gotta rearrange things for the good flow. Oh, Christ, Mike, watch the bumps, will ya? Watch the bumps, this is New York City. Welcome. Hello? Hey, Ray, brother. What's up? You what? You found my car? Ray and Joey found my car. Where are you? All right, I'll be right there. See, it's like a wallet. What's lost is always found and you stop looking. I told you good luck happened to you sleep face in the Guys, rock! Somebody tell the guy I'm gonna be back to pick up my car later and I'm not paying for the parking. Just wanted to get married. This is beach restricts, you don't quit, does she? Thank you.